Hey guys, this week I'm making a depth gauge for the shop using some scrap pieces from my parts bin and a small piece of mahogany. I printed a template from the SketchUp plans I made and attached it to a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood. I trim off the bottom using a razor knife to help with aligning the template. Now apply some spray adhesive to the plywood and the template. Now just let that set for a couple of minutes before applying your template. With our template complete, I used it to trace the lines on the piece of mahogany so we can remove the excess at the bandsaw. After a quick trip to the bandsaw, I used double stick tape to apply our template to our workpiece. This will act as a guide when we head to the router table. With our pattern bit at the router table, just follow the template. You got a direct copy. I'm setting the depth of my Forstner bit to ensure we don't go all the way through the body. We want to leave about an eighth of an inch. With my hole drilled in the body, I did a test fit of the threaded insert and found it to be a little too tight. I used a flat file to remove some material below the end cap. At this point you can remove the template from the body as it's no longer needed. Man, that double stick tape is great. This will be the whole location for the eighth inch rod that runs through the body.
I'm using a piece of three quarter inch wide by eighth inch thick aluminum flat stock for the sole of the gauge. With my hole locations marked, I center punch the stock so my drill bit doesn't wander when we drill them out. This will serve as the locking mechanism for the rod that runs through the body. Once we drill the hole through the body in the insert, a couple of twists of the end cap will pull the insert forward, locking the rod in place. You know I like repurposing material, so I searched my parts bins and I came across this threaded rod and cap assembly from an old ceiling light fixture. A little sandpaper and polishing changed the look completely. With our hole drilled through the body and base plate, I wanted to do a dry run and make sure that it works. And that's good enough for me. Here I'm just using a file to fit the base plate to the body. A little more file work to refine the shape and soften the corners and sharp edges. At this point, I've buffed and polished all of the metal pieces. The eighth inch rod I used was steel, so it got a coat of clear after the polishing step. It's one more dry fit before we apply the finish. Well, here it is with a couple coats of finish applied. I think this would make a great gift for any woodworker shop. If you like today's project, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.